Welcome back to my channel where we talk about things on the internet that I find amusing and wish to share with you all. Daytime courtroom shows have always seemed to be pretty well received. Shows like The People's Court, Couples Court, Divorce Court, and most famously Judge Judy. Now I don't know about you guys, but I can 100% get down with some trash TV. It's like a guilty pleasure of mine. I remember coming home from school to watch Mari religiously. I know Mari is definitely more staged than these courtroom shows, but I would argue that they still fall under the same umbrella in a way. The reason I think that is because they both are real scenarios at its core, but the execution and handling of these situations at hand is always over the top, embellished, and sprinkled with scripted events throughout. Royalty, Daryl, you are not. <laughs> I always knew Judge Judy wasn't totally real, but I wanted to know how real or fake it actually was. After some research, I found out that the cases, plaintiffs, and defendants are real, but the courtroom is not. Judge Judy acts as an arbitrator, and the people involved agree to have their issues handled this way. Basically, they don't take it up through court, they have a neutral party, and in this case, that being Judge Judy, be the one to decide. Not to mention, you do get a free flight to LA, which is where the show was hosted, and some extra compensation cash as well. Anyways, that being said, this leaves a lot of room for the show to add their own flair and comedic value to it, which is what Judge Judy is known for. Now this is really besides the point I'm trying to make here. What I want to show you guys today is a show called Support Court with Judge Vonda B. This show is still currently airing and there are new episodes weekly. It seems to only be on YouTube, but someone correct me if I'm wrong. It could definitely be on some daytime television network as well. Basically, the show is just like all the other courtroom shows, except it's completely fake. I know that sounds like a very bold claim, but if you look at the channel description, they have a whole disclaimer in everything, which says, A courtroom-based TV show involving cases with issues related to child support or spousal support in Texas. All episodes include actors. Vonda Bailey is not a real judge. She is a licensed attorney in the state of Texas who primarily handles cases involving child support and spousal support. The cases are based on real-life scenarios of events that occur in child support court. Names, characters, businesses, places, events, locales, and incidents are either the products of the author's imagination or used in a fictitious manner. Any resemblance to actual persons, living or dead, or actual events is purely coincidental. So yeah, you get the picture. Everything about this show is fake. I mean, it looks like it was recorded in someone's basement for starters. Also, this bailiff looks like he was hired to be a bodyguard at your nephew's birthday party. <laughs> Anyways, I want to show you some clips from this show, and for the most part, it's not all that unbearable, but you can tell it's fake. And also, before we get into it, I want to make it painfully clear that I don't think this is a bad or misleading show. One, it's impossible to be misleading when they have that disclaimer. And two, you can think something's weird, but it not be bad. And in this case, I think this is just weird. So he has a legitimate job. He can be supporting the kids, and he won't do it? He will not. Okay, well, did you want to let me know anything else before I move over to him? Yes. Um, his job is to be a plumber, but that's not the only thing he's fixing. Oh, okay. He's not just fixing water pipes. Mm, interesting. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Ooh, okay. Yes, really. Yes, sir, really. What, what else are you fixing? Listen, I'm a plumber. I'm a licensed plumber, drummer the plumber. I'm sure you've seen all my social media ads. All I do- Actually, I haven't. Okay, well you should. Uh, all I do is lay pipe all day long. Oh, okay. All right, that's what I do. Is that the fixing you were referring to? Yes, ma'am. Um, oh, okay. Unfortunately, I'm not talking about any housework. I'm not talking about any businesses. I'm talking about females. Oh, okay. If you actually think this kind of dialogue would ever exist in a courtroom, you are horribly mistaken. So this episode gives you an idea of what kind of content they make. It's kind of funny to those who think this actually happened, I guess, but there's some other episodes that are a bit much. Alright, I'm bringing her to court today to try to increase my child support. We have two kids together, as I was stated before I was interrupted. Um, she makes quite a bit of money. I'm a school teacher. I only make 50000 Kids on my insurance. How much is your insurance? My insurance is $500 a month. All right. Um, and it's you and the three children on there? Correct. Okay. And I mean, I just need a little help. She helps everybody else, but she doesn't help the kids like she should. Um, the two kids that we do have together, struggling in school, they're falling behind. I just feel like 
the amount of money that she pays for all the luxury stuff she has, the Louis V bag, she should put that money towards tutoring for our children or something. Um, I see her looking at me. She know everything I'm saying is accurate, so. It is. <laughs> yes, y'all may need to look into that too. You so mad that you the, the, the Ooh, yeah. ma'am, ma'am, don't do that. Don't do that. I didn't tell him to be a little teacher. That was on him. Listen, I'm a hustler. Listen. Sell the little houses you sell either. Little Ooh. houses? Little houses. But you taking me to, uh, to child support court. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Because I need, okay. Your, I need okay. your little money. I'm not okay. ashamed to say I need okay. your little money. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I, I got choked up. I'm sorry, too. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm you sorry. got your little job and you need my little money. In a relationship money, with you, honestly. You know? No. There's this common reoccurring theme I've been seeing with these episodes. You have someone that most people are rooting for in the case, and then you have this rich, evil, mean, and selfish person that they want you to not like. They just want you invested in the beef. I mean, look at how Vonda B is sipping her coffee while these two are going at it. So you're mad. The... I am mad. You're on My kids can't sir, spell. Sir, sir. My son in a seventh grade counting on his fingers. That's sir. embarrassing. But they live with you. You go to work from nine to well, five. My you schedule help? is flexible. You can so help? on that extra time, Mr. what Johnson. should you be doing? Mr. Johnson. You should be helping our children, right? Mr. You Johnson. You should be helping our children, you right? You, you said you were going to do... So here he's talking about how the kids that these two have together aren't that smart, and the mother obviously doesn't seem to care and is definitely pinning it on him. Don't get me wrong, these situations happen and they're sad, but I feel like it's hard to get invested into it knowing that this is all fake and they're trying to make it real. I don't know, maybe I'm being too critical. Okay, now, okay, okay, so like, continue. Okay, so your honor, basically he's upset because him and I are no longer together. Oh, that, I'm that is, a blessing. Is, it's a blessing that, in disguise. That is, that is the real. You still I'm like upset. her? Yes. No. You got, it, it's okay. I need the money, the financial okay. support. Oh, okay. You can like he me. need the money. I don't even like we the house. I don't even like the house that she sell. They fall apart. It doesn't oh. matter. It doesn't apart. matter. But you, you got me here for my money. Ma'am, are you falling apart? Houses is is what you is what's gonna make you money, right? Ma'am, are you selling lemon homes? No, ma'am, I'm not. No, ma'am, I'm not. I just find it funny that there are people in the comments actually getting fired up over this. If you haven't caught on by now. Von B is kind of trying to be the sassy Judge Judy type, and it misses the mark. And I'm not saying that because of the acting or the execution, but because the whole scenario is fake, which makes it feel extremely forced. I guess if she would say the same thing under genuine wit, it'd be impressive, but it's not. I want to show you guys one last case that I thought actually wasn't all that bad. I mean, the acting is still pretty horrific, but the scenario seems pretty realistic and the story isn't half bad. Would I watch it in my free time? Probably not. This is also their most viewed episode titled Condo Over Child Support. Well, uh, my son was uh, uh, married to the respondent and uh, he died. They had a three, they have a child that's now three years old that has been left in my custody. And uh, I'm asking for some sort of relief or support because I'm retired from the military and on a fixed income. Okay, first of all, my condolences for well, the loss you. of your I son. Appreciate that. And thank you for your service as well. Oh, thank you. How long has the child lived with you? Um, two years. Two years. Has mom given you any support for the child? Uh, no, she hasn't. Uh, she hasn't bought anything? Uh, not, not significantly, no. Okay, ma'am. Well, I've been traveling. My job had me traveling a lot, and I was in between jobs. I'm, I'm making 35000 now. Okay. And, you know, I'm Where not... Where are you traveling? Well, I'm a travel agent. Okay. So because of that, I can just travel. I get discounts, and I get to fly free. So... Oh, my God, that is amazing. So... But, but that has nothing to do with you giving some sort of financial support. I didn't to have this. It. Excuse me. I was talking. That has nothing to do with you giving financial support to this man for the support of your child. What are you doing with, with yourself every day? What, what do you do? Tell me about your traveling. Well, well, I had got this new condo for one thing, and you know that. Wait a so minute! Expensive. You got a con you have you know you got a condo and you're well, traveling. Yeah. But you, how much is this condo? Well, I'd rather not say. No, I'd rather you say. Because how much is this condo? Uh, it's pretty steep. It, it's pretty steep. Ma'am, what does and that mean? It, that means nothing to me. Steep. You know how many people come in here with things that are steep? I need a number. I like to live nice. And so I pay 5000 See, a month. you know what? You you obviously came here to waste my time. No, no, I didn't yes, really. You did. I didn't. And I really didn't. Yes,
Basically, here we have this super humble, kind, retired veteran taking care of his deceased son's child, who, mind you, also has autism, with no support. And then you have a greedy and financially irresponsible mother who makes a bunch of excuses as to why she can't afford to support her own child. After going back and forth more, they finally run some numbers to get an estimated monthly child support amount paid to the man. What I'm trying to say here is, I guess I can kind of understand how this demonstrates how the courtroom works without it actually being the court. It's a pretty likely story, these kinds of things obviously happen, so for some people I can see this being educational, if you can look past the horrific acting. Once the verdict is made, Judge Vonda B then recaps what happens and invites you to comment about any situations you have had and how they could end up in one of their scenarios. Do you know of anyone who's experienced a similar situation? Be sure to subscribe to our channel and make sure you comment below. You never know, their story may end up as a scenario on our show. After all, these kids aren't raised on air alone. Support court with Judge Vonda B. Like I said, to the right audience, I think this show definitely has some educational value to it. I mean, it's not going to teach you how to be a lawyer by any means. But to some, there's something to learn here. I just think the whole idea for this show is super strange. But that's all I got for you all this week. If you liked, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Comment if you'd like. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next week.